Over 48 million French voters are ready to choose their next leader. Now, who will be the next president of the French Republic? Most opinion polls show that Emmanuel Macron has the edge. He could get a second term in office. But another face that is closing in is Marine Le Pen, a far-right politician who also contested the 2017 presidential polls. She did not, not make it then, but she does uh, perhaps stand a chance this time. Take a look at our next report. It explores. Meet Marine Le Pen, also known as MLP. A lawyer, a politician, and a leading candidate in the French presidential race. In 2017, she lost the race to Emmanuel Macron by a margin of 10 million votes. In 2022, the chances of her victory seem more probable. Le Pen herself says she's rising like a phoenix from its ashes. I'm like the phoenix rising from its ashes. Don't seek to put me in a box because I don't fit in any mold. I'm a patriot. I do what is necessary for the French people. For most of her life, Marine Le Pen lived under the shadow of her father, Jean-Marie Le Pen, the founder of the far-right National Front and a notorious figure in French politics, known for his racist and anti-Semitic views. Throughout her career, MLP too has upheld similar views. She has compared Muslims praying outside mosques to Nazi occupiers. She has been accused by Israel of denying the Holocaust. She has even called globalization a threat to French society. But since 2015, Le Pen has tried to change her image and detoxify her party's far-right policies. It all started with the decision to expel her father from the party who had called Nazi gas chambers a detail of World War history. What followed were a series of political reforms and a change of stance on issues like gay rights, death penalty and abortion. But criticism from within her party's ranks made a full revamp rather tough. Le Pen did tone down the rhetoric, but could not fully abandon her party's agenda. She continues to oppose immigration and wants the children of immigrants to be refused access to school education. She still believes in political isolationism and considers multiculturalism a threat. And internationally, she's in favor of closer ties with Russia. Her critics say that's because she receives funding from Russian banks. In October 2014, her party reportedly borrowed 9 million pounds from a Russian bank to finance its election campaign. What's more, her party's election pamphlets for this year showed Le Pen shaking hands with Vladimir Putin. 1.2 million copies had been printed. After the war in Ukraine, Le Pen ordered all the copies to be binned. But all these controversies have barely dented Le Pen's campaign. Yes, Emmanuel Macron is still riding high in opinion polls. But Le Pen is slowly closing the gap. Political pundits say in the days ahead, this margin could narrow even further. Some even suggest this election could end up in a tie. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.